The brother that sponsors the show, 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 that the hats I wear, he calls them crowns. Shout out to that brother who puts together the crowns that you see a lot of people in the community wearing. That's awesome, brother. His contact information is going to be in the description as well. Uh, with that being said, <laughs> all right, how about a magic trick? Yeah! yeah! Who got a dollar? I do, homie. <laughs> you know, homie. All right, I fold it once, Ooh. twice. Ah. Now it's gone. Ta da! There's not one wicked motive in my body. There's not, I'm trying to. Why, why you become a clown, dear? I guess it's because I got so much love to give. I send love and gratitude to the brother for even giving my platform an opportunity. You know, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but love. The brother that sponsors the show, nothing but love to that brother. Also, I want to give a shout out to Copper Child Mike L. Nothing but love to that brother. The brother that sponsors the show that. attention ladies and gentlemen because this puppet show has a certain message to it there's not one wicked motive in my body this and i read energy i got a spiritual approach to things maybe he don't. i got a spiritual approach to things maybe he don't <laughs> say hello to the nice people hello nice people <laughs> now tell the nice people how you've tried to keep homie down <laughs> <laughs> and uh, shout out to Copper Child Mike L with the crowns. Always represent. Uh, his information will be in the description. I've been forgetting. I'm sorry, Mike. Don't get at me, Mike. But I'm uh, um, his information will be in the description as well as King Simon. I'm trying. I'm not trying to click that. I'm trying. I'm not trying to click that. I'm trying. I'm not trying to click bait. <laughs> well, I've structured society in such a way that men like Homie face nearly impossible odds of ever achieving any sort of educational opportunity. I've been forgetting. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, shout out to Copper Child Mike L with the crowns. Always represent. Uh, his information will be in the description. I've been forgetting. I'm sorry, Mike. Don't get at me, Mike. But I'm uh, his information will be in the description as well as King Simon. I've been forgetting. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> That's right. I've been forgetting. I'm sorry, Mike. There's not one wicked motive in my body. There's For the sake of sanity and the conscious community, please watch this video from beginning to end. Again, for the sake of sanity and the conscious community, please watch this video from beginning to end. Some of you may say, Mike L., how could you call Brother Rich from scamming a scammer? Okay, the reason why is because he fits the very definition of a scammer. He fits the definition. Look, a scammer is someone who practices fraudulent behavior. Look, when I give Brother Rich from scamming my hard earned money that I work very hard for, when I give that to him and I say, look, I want you to advertise for me. I want you to post my ad and put my link in the description. Okay, after that, when he takes it upon himself to get in front of the camera and say, look, everybody, Mike, you two, listen, I'm going to put your link in the description. Never mind the fact that he didn't show the ad. Sometimes he doesn't even show the ad. But he said, I'm going to put the link for your online store in the description. It will be there. After that point, when he doesn't do it, that's what you call fraudulent behavior because he received funds from me, right? For a service that he is to provide, which is to advertise for me on his platform. That's what he's provided for me, right? But when he does not do that, that's what you call fraudulent behavior. This is what, and when you do the same thing over and over and over again, like he did for the whole month of September. This is just one example, one month. He does this all the time. Listen, when you do the same thing over and over and over again, this is called a practice. So again, a scammer is someone who practices fraudulent activity. Critical thinking with the copper child, Mike L. Like I said, class is in session. We are thinking critically, yes. We are thinking critically today.
So I'm not just sitting here making things up. Let's see what the experts have to say. Let's take a look at Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. Let's look at the word scammer in Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. I'll tell you, one of the key words in this definition is deceive. Deceive, because look, when Brother Rich tells you and I that the link will be in the description, if you and I believe that and turn, come to find out the link is not in the, in the description, that means that you and I both have been deceived. I'll repeat it again. If he tells me that the link is in the description and I believe him and he does not put the link in the description, but I believe him, that means I have been deceived. If he tells me the link is going to be in the description and I don't believe him, I haven't been deceived. But one of the key words and the definition of the word scammer is deceived. Okay, so in order to be scammed, you must first be deceived so i'm telling you that rich from scamming brother rich from scamming is deceiving you and i when he tells us that the link will be in the description critical thinker with the cover child mike now stay tuned Also, I want to give a shout out to a copper child, Mike L. The hat that I wear, the crown, he hates when I call it a hat. The crown that I wear for the shows is sponsored by that brother. And I will leave that brother. Um, his Instagram is at iSkateNY. And I also will leave his contact information in the description after the video. And I also will leave his contact information in the description after the video. You see, there he goes again, always with the shenanigans. He's saying that he's going to leave the link in the description after the video. Anybody that knows anything about marketing, you never want to leave the link in the description after the video airs. You want to put the link in the description before you even go live. That way people have an opportunity to buy the product or service that you are providing as they watch the video and get hyped on it and get excited about it. They could buy it right then and there on the spot and they can finish watching the video later. It's no big deal. The sale that I pay for is uh, is important to me. So for him to put the link in the description or say that he's gonna put the link in the description after the video airs is not good enough. But look, Brother Rich from Scamming, as usual, never put the link in the description anyway he just said that this is why i call him a scammer okay so again he said he was going to put the link in the description after the video that was the g right there he never put the link in the description even after the video that's the double g right there this is why i call brother rich from scamming a scammer I hope that everybody can understand this. This is very simple. It's not rocket science. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, shout out to Copper Child Mike L with the crowns. Uh, uh, his understand. information will be in the description. I've been forgetting. I'm sorry, Mike. Uh, his information will be in the description. I've been forgetting. I'm sorry, Mike. Mike, but I'm on uh, his information will be in it. But I'm on uh, his information will be in the description. Don't get at me, Mike. But I'm on uh, his information will be in the description as well as King Simon. I got a spiritual approach to things. Maybe he don't. All right. I appreciate everybody's comments. For some reason, all right, this comment just came in. This is the only reason why I'm choosing this comment because I'm making content right now at the moment. And this, con this comment just came in, so I'm just gonna re respond to it. And it says, it says, um, so sorry Brother Rich did this to you. Bad business and not spiritually correct. Rich is disappointed because you put him on blast. I guess this person is responding to the conversation that I had with Rich, where I explained that he called me on the phone 
And one of the first things he said to me is, I'm disappointed, I'm disappointed in you, right? And I'm saying, no, I'm the one who should be disappointed in you. I gave you my money and you didn't keep your word. I should be disappointed in you. And then I'm pointing out the fact that that's, that's the narcissism. Whereas you violate me and then you tell me you're disappointed in me when I'm the one who should be disappointed in you. So he says, Rich is disappointed because you put him on blast. Now here goes the critical thinking part. I didn't put Rich on blast. Rich put himself on blast. Rich is the one that got in front of the camera and said, I will put your link in the description several times. He said, I know I keep forgetting. So he's admitting, I know that I do this all the time. I know I keep forgetting. So when he says that and then still doesn't do it for the whole month of September, if you're paying attention, he's telling you what's going on. If you're paying attention, I'm just pointing it out. I'm saying, look, he said this, he said that, he did this, he didn't do that. So he put himself on blast. I didn't put Rich on blast. If you pay attention, he put himself on blast. But he thinks you're stupid, just like he thinks I'm stupid. He said I'm slow. He thinks you're slow too. You don't get it? And today we're here to talk about Brother Rich from Scam. And we're going to think critically when we think about Brother Rich from Scam. So this is a critical thinking episode. So for those of you that have been tuning in to the last episodes, you should know what I'm talking about. And for those of you that haven't, take a look at the last post that I've been posting, the previous posts, and you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. Class is in session. For the love of sanity and the conscious community, will somebody please answer the question? Is it possible for Rich to put a link to my online store in the description of his videos. I would like for everybody to participate. You can answer, yes, it is possible. Or you can answer, no, it is impossible for him to put a link to your online store in the description of his videos. If you think it's impossible, type, this is impossible. It's impossible, say that, right? If it's possible, type, no, this is, this is possible. Classes in session. I need your response. Okay. I hope to at least get one response. I hope to at least get one participant. I hope at least one person attempted to answer that question. Classes in session. Now look, my only disclaimer is, if you're honest, this class will not be difficult at all. If you are honest, this class will not be difficult at all. Here we go. This next exercise, we're just gonna use imagination. This next exercise, I'm going to ask the audience, let's use our imagination. So look, as we can see, this video for uh, the month of August got 96,000 554 views, 96,554 views. Now, how many crowns do you think I could have sold if there was a link in the description, being that the video got 95,000, 96,000, 554 views. So we're going to use our imagination. Imagine with me. And please leave your answer in the comment section. Leave your answer in the comment section. Nothing but love to that brother. There's not one wicked motive in my body. I'm, I'm trying, I'm not trying to clickbait. I'm trying, I'm not trying to clickbait. But you know, this is a metaphysical, mainly a metaphysical channel. And um, I'm a spiritual person, so I ask questions how I want to ask questions. <clears throat> you see, now that's the G. Watch, let me explain. Pay attention to Rich's, oh my brother this, oh my brother that. 
Support the brother Mike L. Go by the crown. I wear the crown. You love the crown. They love the crown. We love the crown. Pay attention to that, right? But ignore the non-action of him putting the link in the description after he said he would. So pay attention to the energy, right? It's fake energy. Pay attention to that fake energy, right? And ignore the non-action, right? Ignore the fact that he's not living up to his word and pay attention to the energy. You can translate what he just said the same way. See, that's the G. I know what he's trying to say, but if you really think about it, you see, so what he's saying is pay attention to the energy, but ignore the fact that he's not keeping his word. He's saying his energy, the fake energy, oh, brother this and brother that, and support him this and support him that. He's saying pay attention to that because that's more powerful than the words that he's not keeping. He's not honoring his words, but pay attention to the energy.